Welcome back to the Armenian Museum of America. I'm Gary Linsonani, the curator. And right now, I'm walking through our exhibition on the Armenian Genocide. This is a very important installation uh, for many Americans. It's the first time they learn about the Armenian Genocide. And it includes many artifacts directly related to the genocide as part of it. But today, I want to talk about one specific object in this exhibit, uh, which is an Armenian Bible. This Bible was donated to us by Arthur T. Gregorian, who acquired it uh, in Syria, and had, had been dug up by a shepherd's dog. Apparently, the Bible had been carried to Diazur by an Armenian family. When the owner realized that they were not going to survive, they wrapped the Bible in rags and they determined that it was an Armenian Bible, but they didn't know what tradition it was. Arthur T. Gregorian, one of our founders of the museum, acquired the Bible and brought it to Boston, and he donated it to the museum. But we still couldn't identify what Bible it was because the pages were all fused. It's in terrible condition. Recently, we had a visitor from the Matanadaran, David Gazarian. And this, when he looked at the Bible, he said, let me try to do research. I'll determine where it came from exactly, where it was printed. And when he studied it, he found that it was made in Calcutta in 1817. It was actually not published by Armenians. It was published by missionaries who had published this book and many other books in Indian languages. It was easy for them to do this kind of book because they didn't have to translate it into Armenian, the Bible. The Bible was already in Armenian. So all they did was they found another edition of the Bible and they copied it and printed it and made a new edition. The question is, how did this get to from Calcutta to uh, the Ottoman Empire, and then from the Ottoman Empire to Diazor? We don't know. But it's uh, one of the most important pieces in our collection. It really shows the tragedy, how viable the Bible was, that they carried this all that way, and then they buried it as the most precious object. The Armenian Museum is here to share our stories, our history, our culture with you, the public. We thank you for joining us. We thank Michelle Collegian, president of the Board of Trustees of the Museum, for making this film series possible on various objects in the collection. Until next time, stay safe.